Hey everyone, uh, we are going to be making some beef jerky. We're not going to be smoking it today. Um, we're going to be smoking it in about 36 hours time. So I'll show you my little simple recipe. Uh, so to start with, I've just got a three quarter cup of soy sauce. And then I've got a third of a cup of Worcestershire sauce. All that in a container. You want to get a sealed container ready. I've got some topside beef. Uh, you want to get a nice lean cut so you can use topside or silver side. I've heard of people using uh, like sirloin and they've just trimmed all the fat off. You want to slice it about two to three mil thick. Um, and yeah, just we're going to smoke it over some cherry wood in the offset. I'm going to hit it with some smoke for about half an hour, sort of as low as we can get the smoker. Um, probably around the hopefully 150 degree Fahrenheit mark. Um, hit it with smoke for about half an hour and finish it off in the dehydrator for about five or six hours. So um, cut it into strips, however you're going to be eating it. You can leave it bigger than that or smaller, however you want to do it. Um, and then we're going to add to our soy sauce and Worcestershire mix. So we've got a teaspoon of garlic salt, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, and then we've got a half teaspoon of white pepper, <clears throat> half a teaspoon of paprika, and then a tablespoon of sugar just to help cut through that saltiness of the soy sauce. So we're gonna pour all that in. I used to bring that up to a simmer in a uh, saucepan just to let it all dissolve, but I found it dissolves pretty well anyway. So we'll just whisk it around. Dissolves pretty well, and then um, we're literally just gonna add our beef into it. Nice and simple. So, like I said, let this go for about 36 hours. You can do it after 24 if you want, but the longer the better. So, you want to completely submerge your strips into the liquid. If there's any sitting out, just um, sort of move it around every 12 hours just so it's all getting a nice even coverage. We'll put that in the fridge and uh, come back when it's ready to hit the smoker. All right guys, so it's pretty early. We've got coffee there. And we've just removed our um, beef jerky out of the container. We've put it on some paper towel just to absorb some moisture. And we've got some coals ready. Cherry chunk there, and we'll try and keep the temperature at about the same as what the dehydrator runs at, at about 70 degrees. We're only gonna hit it with some smoke for half an hour and finish it off in the dehydrator because it's gonna be much easier doing that than trying to fight temperatures in this thing all day. So whatever can make your life easier, go ahead and do. If you wanna do it in the smoker the whole day, go for it, but I'm gonna be doing it in the dehydrator. All right, so we are on the nice thin Blue looking smoke is what you're after. So it's a firebox. Jerky in there. Just got our side vent cranked just a little bit because we want to keep the temps low, like I said. And uh, we'll leave this for half an hour and then we'll bring it inside to the dehydrator. Right, so we're about four hours into our jerky being in the dehydrator and then it spent the half an hour in the smoker. So it still needs quite a bit longer I reckon. The texture I like for jerky is so you can basically bend it and it cracks and snaps but doesn't snap apart. I like a little bit of texture in there still so you'll feel it snap but it'll still hold together and that way it has a nice little bit of chew to it still but um it's still nice and crispy on the outside so we'll come back and check it in another couple of hours you want to make sure you check all your trays because i find that the bottom tends to cook a little bit quicker so sometimes i'll swap the trays around but it's all feeling 
really much the same to me, so we'll come back. All right, guys, some of our jerky is ready. Uh, the bottom ones were done pretty quick. That's one of the thinner ones. Took about six hours in total. Uh, some of the thicker pieces that were on the top two shelves are still going. They just need a little bit longer. But um, this is the type of texture that I usually like. So you can hear it snap and crack, but it doesn't snap completely. There's still a bit of chew and texture to it. But you can pull it apart. And that is beautiful. That is perfect in my opinion. You can taste that slight smokiness. And it's so much easier doing it in the dehydrator. You can just set it and forget it rather than having to worry about fluctuating temperatures in the offset. It's definitely the way I'm going to do it going forward. So if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you try it yourself. Let us know what you think or let us know if you've got another jerky recipe that you like to do. I'd love to hear it. And um, we'll see you next time. Cheers.